what up though this your boy doc and before we jump into this video after this video make sure you check the description check out all my merch it's tons of new designs available and i upload different designs weekly peace what up though this your boy doc and I got a very special guest on the line. If you want to go ahead and introduce yourself and where you're from. It's Octavius Miller, West Coast Hip Hop Awards CEO, Oakland, California. Word, word. Well, you know, uh, you know, C put out three records on rap a lot. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he was, I mean, he was a star, man. Everybody loves Sieg, man. And, uh, you know, he, he, he don't have, he got like six kids and his oldest son, you know, my nephew, Mac Real. You know, he, he the one trying to, he carrying the torch right now. You know, he the one that's, you know, getting out there, making music, doing what he need to do to make it happen, man. I just, I ain't got nothing but love and respect for my nephew, you know what I'm saying? And we just, we just pushing the line, man, you know. And, um, you know, hopefully rap a lot, get behind him. If not, we still going to push him on Seagram Records and we just going to keep that thing going, man, because Seag has some good music. You know, his son's in rapping. He got a couple other sons. One is producing, the other one's doing this thing, but, you know. But we're going we gonna to keep that Miller name alive, man. We're going to keep Sieg alive forever. We killed you. The legend says that when our chiefs die, their spirits come back. Dad's gone. He ain't coming back. But guess what? You get to take his place. Become great. You gotta become big as him, even bigger. You know, he left a legacy, and I want you to be the same thing. Don't never let nobody take you, say you're not a Miller. Don't never let nobody say you're not the son of C. Ever. You hear me? Jay Briss, can you understand? I've been going through complications as a man. These niggas killed my father and came back to the land 20 years later. Can I see Seagram again? I brought my toys to play with you, Seagram. I brought that record. Where's my Uncle Rico? Jay Pritt. Where is my dad? Octavius, you hear me? See, he was like like family, man, because when he came from here to go to Houston, that nigga stayed in my house. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, that nigga carried my motherfucking hands. Outside of Rap a Lot and in Rap a Lot, would tell you that the song Bring It On showed the unity on Rap a Lot label. And every time they saw that show where every artist on the label was finally on a show with Ghetto Boys, your dad came up with the title Bring It On, and he started off the song. Thank you, I just love it. He showed you that he rap a lot. Nobody ever saw it before. History, history. There you go, and that's the one thing that stands out to me about him too, because no matter who was on rap a lot, we never had a song with them on a Ghetto Boy album. Mm. And because of his idea, every artist, including Tulo, was on that. Fifth Ward Boys, Devin the Dude, everybody, Face Mob was on that. It's the seed stuff, the major league stuff. Bitch deceiver, nigga like a lever. Oakland hustler, never been a buster. Make way for the nine straight. I'm coming, motherfucker. Straight from the six nine to five. This is the original map of where my father was buried from '96. The paper. Cost the. You see the price. See the price for the tombstone. It was never paid though. The lady's about to tell you. She's about to tell you right now. It was never paid for. Okay. So here's 
my card, and so we have a community email. Okay. So you can just, if you email something, well, put it to my Can we attention. staple the, your card to the paperwork that you're going to give me? Mm -hmm. So when I go to rap a lot, I can show um, Uncle J. Prince that, um, that it's all legit paperwork. I don't want anybody second guessing any paperwork from the cemetery. I want to have everything in order. So I have a big meeting with him, uh -huh. and I want to be able to show him that um, my dad never got a tombstone. Nobody ever paid for one. Right, right. Because I know kind of earlier, you know, we briefly spoke on, so it's been some type of communication between, you know, your nephew and rap a lot or like how Yeah, he, I mean... I mean, he hit them up, and they they've been talking, and you know, so I don't know what the situation is going to entail. But you know, one thing that I do know is that you know, you know, that's that's my nephew. You know what I'm saying? He he always been putting in work. He's all you know. I, I basically raised him, man. You know, so you know, he doing his thing, man. Whether whether rap a lot or not, you know what I'm saying? He's 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 seeking records forever. You know what I mean? So I hope everything work out for him. You know, I hope you know Lil J work with him, and you know, but if not, we gonna keep it pushing and and make things happen on our own. So here's this for you, and then I'm putting well, this... Well, what's this paper? Tell me what you got. This is the one that says they did not pay for. Oh, this is the one that says they never paid for a tombstone? Mm -hmm. How does it say that? How... Memorial? Uh-huh. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, can we... I want to highlight that part, because I don't want to forget. And then, what was memorial? this? Memorial? Nothing. nothing. So Memorial has nothing. I'm trying to show in black and white document that no one ever bought him a tombstone. I grew up. I came here, I realized my dad didn't have one. Uh, I just want to show him that. Um, so I, I can draw up a document that says that. It won't okay. take me too long. Okay. Are you okay if I go as yeah. president? Yeah. Yeah. You? What's up, Doc Hicks? As you can see, I'm at the cemetery visiting my dad, who was signed to Rap A Lot Records and put in a lot of work for Rap A Lot Records. Jay Prince personally, Jay Prince Sr., excuse me, personally told me he was going to make sure my father had a tombstone when he found out my father didn't have a tombstone. Uh, I bought a tombstone for my father. Uh, I was nine when my father died, and uh, I grew up. I never came to visit my dad but one time, and the first time I came here, I realized he didn't have a tombstone. So I paid for that, Mr. Doc Hicks. And I'm not saying that to televise that for some handout or anything. I'm just a man of my word. I said I was gonna do something to my grandmother. I told my grandmother I was gonna buy him a tombstone that day. I did that. I even put rap -a -Lot's name on the tombstone. I did that. Um, everything I say I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do. My credibility is really good inside my family. And right now, this is not about fans, views. It's about respect. A lot of people say they are the most respected and the most connected with respect. And my family feels disrespected on a high level. And so to engage into a respectful action, I think that Mr. Prince should give me a job. Let me make my own money. I don't care what you owe my dad if you owe my dad. Let me get a job either boxing, rapping, producing, graphic designing. Let Seagram, let Rap A Lot Seagram be real because he died on Rap A Lot and never got a penny from Rap A Lot. Nobody in my family ever got a penny from Rap A Lot. Not even me, not even him. My family paid for his funeral. I paid for the tombstone. Give me, punch my hands. While you fish, come on. Same time. Yeah, come on. Yeah. No, you gotta punch it. <laughs> While you fish, punch like that. Come on. My office hours are from nine to five. Fuck your office hours. I need to talk to you right now, motherfucker. Talk to you right now, motherfucker. Mr. Prince, can I talk to you for a minute? If you give me a shot. Mr. Prince, can I talk to you I for to a talk minute? To you right now, motherfucker. Uh. Mr. Prince, can I talk to you for a minute? If you gave me a shot at rap a lot, you wouldn't regret it Mr. Prince, can I talk to you for a minute? I didn't mean to be offensive with the Seagram in my system Mr. Prince, can I talk to you for a minute? You and my father got more unfinished business Mr. Prince, can I talk to you for a minute? Mr. Prince, can I talk to you for a minute? I'm just to tap it in 
Until we see that big outro Shout out to my cousin Devin from East Poly Alto Remember that day he whipped out that phone Next day you took him to a club back to your home See him rap about everything he's seen in your home White rug, white stove, white robe My father told me Lil J was on Mr. Prince, I was nine years old Think of all the little lies I was told About why he was gone and never coming back home Ever since July, I've been cold I became a boxer, a head knocker, web watcher Selling keys like C, straight Betty Crocker Stewart like Martha, wasn't my father your little partner? I read your book, see you never forgot him I respect that in you, where I'm from, OG, that's called gratitude Mr. Prince, can I talk to you for a minute? If you gave me a shot at rapper life, you wouldn't regret it Mr. Prince, can I talk to you for a minute? I didn't mean to be offensive with the signal in my system Mr. Prince, can I talk to you for a minute? You and my father got more unfinished business Mr. Prince, can I talk to you for a minute? Mr. Prince, can I talk to you for a minute? I can rap a lot, mac a lot, scrap a lot Plus go 12 rounds, never get socked Get down, get back on top They shut up my pops, they never gave him props Friends turn ops, lay low, we all we got This betrayal got me too gone Can't believe they murdered my father over a little hoe And come back, and then still his tombstone Lukewarm, now I'm lukewarm I'm a chemist, you a bookworm I finesse with game, then I took charge My Mac 11 big and my foot large Knucklehead, can't you see I got heart Having money, chop car, 83 Ready, ready killer, and I really love you Mr. Eddie Miller, rest in Peace, Edward. GG gon' miss you. Harry gon' protect the queen until the day she come and get with you. Mr. Prince, can I talk to you for a minute? If you gave me a shot at rapper life, you wouldn't regret it. Mr. Prince, can I talk to you for a minute? I didn't mean to be offensive with the cigarette in my system. Mr. Prince, can I talk to you for a minute? You and my father got more unfinished business. Mr. Prince, can I talk to you for a minute? Mr. Prince, can I talk to you for a minute? I'm just to tap it in until we see that big outro. Shout out to my cousin Devin from East Poly Alto. Remember that day he whipped out that phone. Next day you took him to a club back to your home. See him rapped about everything. Everything he's seen in your home White rug, white stove, white robe My father told me Lil J was on Mr. Prince, I was nine years old If you have any other problem With your royalties Then my books Give me a minute, can't you see I'm talking No, now? I need to talk to you right now About my royalties And how you keep your books my office hours are from nine to five. The Seagram movie is a love project, okay. not a a work project. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So if if I finish it this year, cool. But I'm I'm just not gonna throw it out there. I want it to be done right. I mean, because it's my brother, but at the same time, it's still, you know, it's a nostalgic thing for me, and it's it's something that I wanted to do a long time ago. And, you know, I missed out on a lot of people.